Hi, good people from all around the world. This is Nick from OVA Let's Plays. In the last episode, we fought the solar eclipse to get the hero sword so we can get the hero relics. Off screen, I upgraded a bunch of stuff. I had the true hallow staff in the last episode, but I got the devil staff upgraded and then I merged the two to make the terror staff. I got the true scalpel. I got the chaos sword, uh, which is the upgrade to the Discordian Inferno, I think it's called. And the abyss, abyssal blade, and I combined the two. And um, as was suggested, I got r the recipe browser now on here, so we don't need the guide to check and see. Like for perfect chaos, we we're gonna need the X soul. So that's not gonna be for a while. At some point, we're gonna have to use a different weapon. The same thing with the chaos yari, which was the upgrade to the to the um, to the Asgardian lance that we had earlier. And for the perfect chaos, um, for the perfect chaos you already later on, we're gonna need the X Soul. I think we need to be the super agent for that. There's a couple things I haven't upgraded. One of this is the Abyssal Pentashot, um, Shadow Shot, which we need the hero relics with to get upgrade. So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna upgrade so we can so you can see me at least upgrade one of these with the hero relics. So here we go. So we're gonna, we got what, two hero swords. I'm gonna save one of them just in case. Just in case. Um, also, we got the auto hammer. We're gonna upgrade that. We're gonna get the new bars, the uh, deep abyssian bars and the discordian ones. We're gonna do all that very soon here. The other thing too as well is we got uh, a bunch of terra prisms and some chaos prisms. Uh, they're one percent chance, and the for the terror prisms, one percent chance here, and then for the chaos ones, it's one percent in either the the uh, mire or in the inferno. Um, in order to get it quickly, I summoned up a bu bunches and bunches of enemies in both areas to, in order to get it because it's one percent chance, and they don't spawn. The enemies don't spawn all that often. Um, at first, the, for the first couple, I had um, the first couple I had. Um, a little station set up here with everything. I had the table and the water candle and all that, but the the green the green bars and stuff kept getting in the way of the enemy spawning. And it, I would have to keep moving around, and that was getting annoying for me. See, the thing I don't get. Oh, here I have the hero. I have to have the hero relics. Okay, so there's one. I'm just gonna use one hero sword. Abyssal shadow shot. There we go. Alrighty. We got our abyssal of shadow shot now. What do we need to upgrade that? And also, let's check and see. It's not auto fire, but it's still pretty cool looking. I think we get the for this. We get the chaos buster shot, which we need this and a chaos prism. But unfortunately, oh wait, wait, we do have another one I kept in store, just in case I kept one in here. I think. Or was it in here? I know I kept one somewhere. Don't tell me I lost it. I lost my marbles. You guys are probably going to see it if I have it. You're like, it was in the chest, you idiot. It was in the chest. I don't see it. That's the weird part. Huh. Because I'm going to save it in the, for the armor. I want to save at least three for the armor. I might have to get off screen, guys. That that's might be what I have to do because I thought I'd put one away. Maybe I took one out, and that's one of what makes the three. But at any rate, um, I'll just go ahead and put the Abyssal Shadow Shot in here. Save that for later for the perfect. And for this, I'll put this in here. The Hero Relics. And I'll put the Broken Hero Sword in there, too. So you guys well know I, I run out of space, but the good news is with the chaos and with the terror prism, we get two different armor upgrade sets to set to choose from. We can do the flesh rend, which is going to be the terra armor, and we have the Viking, the the raider armor here. Um, so that's two different armor sets to choose from: the chaos or the terra. So and both of those are melee oriented, I believe. So here we go. Let's see the recipe browser here. 
It's so, I'm so glad that someone suggested it. I can't remember who offhand, but if I can remember to add, add it in editing, I will. Okay, so we need at the Mithril Anvil, Flesh Rent Helm, and a Terra Prism. So there we go. Where, where did it go? Uh. Oh well. Um, so there's the Terra Helm. 30 defense. Man. Now we're gonna, unfortunately, we're gonna run out of minions here, but I suppose we could get the minion helm for the Terra if we really wanted to have the minions. So right now our defense is at 74, but if we switch it over, oh, <laughs> it, went, it went from like 74 to 114. Oh my God. What's the set bonus on this thing? Increase life regen, all right. 28% increased melee speed and being struck by an enemy causes a terra sphere to home in on the enemy that attacked you. So it might be worth it, guys, to, to sacrifice in minions. I, I suppose I could get the minion version of the helm and do that. Um, I'm not going to want the chlorophyte face paint. I don't think we can do anything with the chlorophyte armor. I wish we could convert it. Oh. Yeah, I wish we could convert it back to bars again, but unfortunately that's not the case. So now what we get to do is we get to see what the Chaos version is with the, uh... Yep, yeah, here we go, the Chaos version here. We got the Chaos Kabuto. Alrighty, and the Chaos Greaves, and the Chaos Duo. I'm probably, in all likelihood, I'm going to go with the Terra, most likely, but we'll, we're just for comparison, we got... 112. Oh, it's lower defense. Okay, so it has increased melee speed. Enemies are more likely to target you. Enemies that strike you are set ablaze or swung weapons and inflict them with bog toxin and dragon flame. So that's interesting. Um, but I think overall, I, I rather have the Terra one. The Terra one seems better for me just because of the increased defense and also if you get hit. Um, if I was farming for something, like if I wanted to farm, hurt a lot of enemies and farm for an item, then that might be better because the enemies will be drawn to me. But is there anything to upgrade with this later on? I don't think so. I don't think there's an item. I think this is the end of the line of the crafting for both of them. Um... I believe so. Yeah, Terra Helm. Oh, you could also do it with the Knight's Helm if you go with the Shadow Armor instead of the Crimson Armor. So yeah, that's a big upgrade in armor from what we had before. The only real sacrifice we made really was less minions. I think we can like do like two maybe now. Oh, just one. Oh, okay. Uh, that's a bit of a drawback. I think... Let's see what the Terra one is made up. Let's check the recipe browser and see. Terra. Okay, Terra Helm. It's going to be the one that increases the uh, minions. Oh, here we go. So to get that one, if we really wanted to get the minion one and keep what we had, we're going to lose some defense. We'd have to have the Demon Cal. Not the Simon Cal, the Demon Cal. That's a whole different thing, although I suppose some people would say it's similar, I guess. I don't know. Um, here we go. And for that, we need the input and the bone and the jungle spores and the shadow scale. We would also need um, another... Oh, we can get the Terra Wings, too. So, input. Okay, so for the input... Oh, we just need... All right. So it's not that far-fetched. Um, we'll see how we do today. I know you guys are probably thinking this is not the right progression as far as, like, I've got weapons and armor that's far beyond. But I'm going to fight Anubis today. And hopefully Gollum as well. Oh, sh I keep forgetting stuff, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so scatterbrained right now. We're going to do the auto hammer. We're going to uh, craft the thing, the hallowed forge with that. So that's next. Hallowed anvil, I mean. So we need hallowed bars, hard mode anvil, pearl wood workbench, crystal ball, okay, auto hammer. So the tricky one is the pearl wood right now because there's no, I don't have any, 
Okay, so what we're going to have to do... Mm -hmm. Where... Uh, oh, there's the Nimbus Rod. Okay. So, I do not have an axe to cut this down with at all. I suppose we have enough Chlorophyte to make the Chlorophyte Great Axe. We could do that. Ah, oh, man. I'll just you. Hmm. So torn right now, what to do. Um. Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. Yeah, I just use the chlorophyte that I have to make a. Unless. Did I put the axe back up here, the one I had before? I don't think I did, no. I wonder if the. Where's the merchant? The regular one. Yep. I think he has an axe in here, if I remember right, the copper one. Yep. <laughs> uh, going back to our roots here. Back to the days of copper we go. We go. Back to the days of copper. Yes, you know. You know. Alright, so all we needed was the acorn, really. And then what we do, this is my plan. Okay, we get enough dirt blocks. We head over to the desert, the hallowed desert. Maybe if we're lucky, enough has spread to... Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh, speak of the spread. Oh, man. <laughs> so that's enough for the pearl wood bench that we need. Do not throw it away. I thought it was thrown away the regular wood. Okie dokie, because eventually, once we get the pick saw, we'll be able to make the terra tool, and we don't need the regular, because we'll have an axe and a pickaxe. But for now, for now, we must. Okay, so. Pearlwood bench. Give me the pearlwood bench, the pearlwood bench. Okay, we need the crystal ball. Mirror, mirror on the wall. I will take your crystal ball. I can see into the future. 2021 will be much better than... I bet. Nope, I'm not going to jinx it. You already have. You've doomed us all, you fool. you doomed us all. So what else do we need? Um, What else do we need? We got the auto... Oh, hallowed bars. What would you do for a hallowed bar? Well, I would kill the mechanical bosses one by one. And then I would take your loot and claim victory. Iron bar. Do I have the hallowed bars in my inventory? I've got a bisium bar. <sighs> there it is. You had the you had it the whole time, you fool. Okay, so is it here? What do I need to craft it at? <laughs> Watch me have to craft it at a hard mode anvil. Where is the... There it is, okay. Okay, Q. Okie dokie. So, required objects, none. Alright, I don't need any objects. I've cracked it with my bare hands. Rawr. Rawr. I make the hallowed anvil. <laughs> Paladin Smithy Forge. Oh, Hallow Forge and that? Shoot. That's going to save me some space. I might have enough room for a disco ball now. Okie dokie. I want to be the favorite first. The Hallow Forge Forge. The Palatine is my real test. The trainer is my curse. Okay, I um, can't sing the whole song because I will get copywritten and it will not be fun and I will be sad panda. Okay, oh, the Hephaestus. I'm probably saying that wrong, but that's the pre hard mode forge version. It ma makes the hallow or the hell forge and the hell anvil, and then you blend the two together and bam! You have a little baby forge. Um, 
Alrighty. I'm gonna need some room here. You served me well, workbench, but now you have to go. Whoosh. Ha ha! Behold the wonder. Behold. Bask in its beauty. I can hear people clicking away right now. Okay. Get to the boss fight. Get to the boss fight. Get to the boss fight. Oh. <laughs> Alright, now that we got the... Ooh, we can make the deep abyssian bar. Alright, so I don't want to make too many of them because I have limited chlorophyte. So I want to try to split, spread it out evenly between that and the other one. I've... Do I really only have one incinerite bar? I only have one. Well, it'll be good enough to see what I can craft. Mac and cheese. I'm hungry now. Why did I have to say mac and cheese? Oh, the moon collar. Oh. So that's one, th one of the things you can do with this. Brings forth the shimmering moon. Depth digger. If you make it with bones, it's grave digger. Sunday this Sunday. Alrighty. Alright, now let's see what we can do. Oh, that's the boss log. Not captain's log. But... Okay, radiant and cinerite ore. So we can make the drag array, which is 60. Firestorm. Dragon Kite. That one looks kind of kind of cool. You need the ectoplasm. Who are you going to call? Daybreak and Cinerite. Ooh. Daybreak and Cinerite. Or Sun Color. So I'm going to have to summon some claws or something. But not Dr. Claw from Inspector Gadget. I'll get you next time, Gadget. Next time. You must fight a new you fool. Don't keep them waiting. Is he even here? <laughs> He's not even here. <laughs> Where is he? Is he gone? Did he die, die? Oh, no. Well, uh, Gollum it is, guys. It's gonna have to be Gollum. Or we could go to the dungeon. So we can craft the upgrade to the Deathly Longbow. You've done enough? Oh, I gotta get the wings. I gotta get the Terra wings. Man, I wonder why he's not here. I should have enough NPC apartments. Terra wings. Fly, fly. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are the arrows? We should be here somewhere. You're like, you fool, you passed him a long time ago. Fool. There's Corify. Where are the terror wings? Alright, seriously, what what's up with this? Oh, I need the souls of flight. That's why. You fool. You fool. Pew pew. Pew 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 pew. You need souls of flight for wings, you idiot. Okay. So this is. Let's count here. Let's count with the with the Aquamancer ones. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Miss, Miss, five Mississippis. That's a lot of Mississippis. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, Miss ah, six Mississippi. Six Mississippis. Six Mississippis. All right. You see, still not here. My disappointment isn't measurable, and my day has been ruined. Why are you? Oh, that's me. I thought. 
I thought one of the NP <laughs> I thought one of the NPCs got up there. I'm like, what did you do, NPC? So uh, I'm gonna fight Gollum. I'm probably gonna. Well, uh, my armor is really good now. To have a hundred before a hundred defense before Moon Lord, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Pretty sunshine and rainbows. You killed them all through the beer. Okay, I will summon my terrorist. Should have brought a bewitching table. I'm so used to having like six minions. Six minions with you. Do, 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 do. That, I wonder if we can check while we're flying. Yeah, we can check while we're flying. Alrighty. So I wonder, the pawn hammer, anything craftable with that? Nope. Okie dokie. It's still further. It's into the the elevator, not the elevator, but the lower part to the... I love these biomes, though. They've done such a great job with the biomes. That's the, that's the ticket to the temple. Indiana Jones would be proud. He would be proud. Welcome to the jungle. We got murderous plants. If you get high off the shrooms, then you do your little dance. Do, 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 do. To the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. Man, if there was ever an April Fool's mod pack they'd play i would never be able to record it because the copyright but that'd be funny to have it instead of the jungle music replaced with welcome to the jungle there you go. and have the rain music replaced with the song singing in the rain if anyone ever does that, I don't think I'd... Re I could maybe record 5 seconds of it, or 10 seconds of it. Not much longer than that. Die, Spidey, die. And you as well, Mr. Hornet. So, my plan is, I'm either most likely going to die to the Golem, because I don't have an arena prepared, number one. And number two, I said number two. <laughs> um, <laughs> number two, um... Yep, that's pretty much it, really. I don't have an arena prepared. I mean, I've got the better armor, so my defenses should be pretty decent. Usually, with all the traps and all the enemies, you're almost ne unless you prepare it beforehand, you're almost nearly dead by the time you get to Gollum, anyways, but... Oh, I forgot. Uh, someone said in the comments recently that um, the Rod of Discord is craftable in, in Ancients Awakened, so I thought it was pretty cool, too. Alright, so... Let's see. Can I plant my little campfire? Yep. Freaking spiky balls. Let me take those spiky balls away. That's step one. First things first, I'm gonna bind the spiky balls away. Because they hurt, they hurt you really bad. They do. Second thing second, I'm gonna die pretty darn soon. Before I, before I even fight Gollum, I put some honey down here, but I've seen a video, I can't remember who did it, but they, they trapped the Gollum in honey. And I wonder if the video was sponsored by Honey. That'd be ironic if it was. Alrighty, so campfire time. Right here. The nice flat area right here. There we go. The demolition it. Why can't the Nubis be here? He might already be here anyways. That's how many purity spheres I, I fought to get the... Do I have a heart lantern? Do I have a heart lantern? No, it appears that I do not have one. Oh. Alright, so I'm pretty much healed up. About as good as I'm going to be, so here we go. Right. 
Alrighty. I got him like I see him. Now, <laughs> there's sometimes I joke that um, another funny April Fool's one would be if the Gollum had the face of Gollum from Lord of the Rings. Okie dokie. I know I'm messing this up somehow, but I am. Okie dokie. Half the battle is usually having a decent arena. I don't have my Heart Lantern or my Honey here, so that could be... But this is what I mean when I say I'm most likely going to die. Now, I, I can't avoid this laser fire, even if I hide over here. The best I can hope for is get his hands beat, but that's likely not going to happen either. Alright, so I got the first phase done. I'm still gonna die, but I got the first phase done at least. So that's that's a that's a that's a good thing to happen. Nine seconds. I need to survive for. I need to survive for another two seconds. Can I do that? Can I pull that off? Yes, yes. I was actually able to pull that off. I might I might have a chance, guys. I might have a chance here. Alrighty. I beat him. I can't believe I beat him, guys. I mean, my skills at fighting bosses are still terrible, but I've gotten better over time. It's still a long, long ways to go. Alright, please tell me I got the pick saw first time. I did not get the pick saw the first time. Sad panda. No, do not... I'm gonna have to check my recipe up here. Okay, let's see if anything can be done. Oh, I got it. It's doing that because I think I, I just beat Gollum. So nothing to do with the heat ray. I'm sad about that. I wonder if there's something that can be done with the beetle armor. I don't know. You freaking flying snake. Freaking flying snakes. Oh man, I dropped my 68 platinum. <laughs> Uh, 68 platinum, womp womp. I knew I should have put that in the freaking piggy bank. How I got that was to get the chaos one, I summoned up, uh, the chaos, um, chaos prisms. I summoned up a bunch, a bunch of toxic toads. Probably like 200 toxic toads. <sighs> is Anubis here yet? Is Anubis, is he here? We have almost all the NPCs here, except for Anubis. Is he anywhere on the map at all? Is there like some house that he's... Okay, is he... Do I not have enough NPC houses? Is that's what the deal is? It looks like it's a little bit tight. Like there's one here. There's one here left over. Everything else has been occupied. That might be what it is. I might have to build an additional NPC house. Darn it. How much do I have in the piggy bank? Is it worth it to go back? Got one platinum, 79. <laughs> Is it worth it to go back? Well, you do have 70 platinum over there. I would go over there if I were you. I died a minute ago. So I'll be right back, guys. All right. All right, guys, so this is going to make you laugh. I was on my way to get to the, go down here to get the money and everything. And I had my slimy saddle on to, uh, to fall down quicker so I could fall down more rapidly, right? But I died from fall damage because the wings, they, they have slow fall and you won't die if you have those on. But, um... If you don't have, if you're using the slimy saddle, it doesn't help. It doesn't have slow fall, so you know, unless you have the horseshoe on, then you you'll be fine. But I forgot the wings don't always have uh, no fall damage, even with the slimy saddle on. So long story short, I lost the money. Um, <laughs> I lost my 70 platinum, but I still have six platinum in there and 84 gold. So. Also, I the reason why Anubis wasn't here is because I 
forgot a door there. Um, I also made another NPC house makeshift one of the island over there. So we got two different slots now, so that should cover us. I won't have to build another house. But we have to wait for Anubis to get here, so that's the bad part. Um, so I might go to the dungeon, because we can get loads of loot there. Um, a lot of loot at the dungeon, so I might do that next. Oh, I forgot to see if the Eye of Cthulhu does anything. Um, if it doesn't, I'm just going to throw it away. Nope. Doesn't do anything. No crafting for that. Okay. And let's see now. Alrighty. So I'm just going to check to see if this counts as an NPC house. I'm pretty sure it does. Most of these island houses... There we go, yep. So, with the new wings, I should be able to get to the dungeon in no time. Dungeon on the left here. Um, I'm going to pause it again, and then we'll be back. Uh, by the time we're done exploring the dungeon, Anubis should be back. I might save Anubis for the next episode, maybe. I don't know. It depends on how long this takes. But I'll be back, guys. Oh shoot guys, I forgot because I beat Gollum, the cultists are out here. I gotta get my minion away before the, before it beats all the cultists. Oh man, <laughs> I forgot about the cultists show up after you. Oh god, we could literally fight the Moon Lord right now, but I, I want to fight the vanilla bosses first in, in the correct progression as best I can. Um, but yeah, they're out there now that I beat Gollum. I completely forgot. I don't know why I forgot, but... I think we're safe down here to summon the, the Terra Wizard back now. Alright, so we're going to get loads of different things. Mostly ectoplasm is the main thing, but there's also, I think, a part for this gun that does loads of damage. I think like 180 something. Um, it does loads of damage. I'm really torn right now. I remember last time I went in the dungeon, the game glitched and closed out on me. Um, I'm going to turn autosave on. I'm going to turn autosave. Normally I don't have it on, so when I do Supreme Buff Boss Battle videos, if the arena gets destroyed, I can still keep it. But just in case if it glitches out, I don't want to lose the progress on this playthrough that we've done for this episode. So I think that's the best way. I, that way I won't have to exit out and travel all the way to the, the dungeon again. Ectoplasm, there we go. What is this thing? Oh, that's the purity ore that happens when you get hit. Alright, so here we go. Rocket launcher, I bet there's an upgrade to that. Let's go up here. Hopefully we won't be attacked or anything while we're up here. Where's the rocket launcher? Here we go. Yep. Genocide cannon. So that's not till later, but I'm still going to keep it. Just in case. You never know for sure. Up. Oh, here we go. That's one of the things I like about this weapon is it can go through walls. So these guys here. Freaking Bone Lee over here. This is going to be really good in the dungeon. I mean, it doesn't tack all that often through the walls, but it tacks often enough where it's still handy, before, at least before the solar eruption. Metoplasm will get the upgrade for the Deathly Longbow. So that'll be good. Oh, we got that staff. I wonder if there's an upgrade to that. See. Always looking for the upgrades. I turn auto pause on. That way I can check the thing without being bothered, hopefully. Yep. Nope. There is not an upgrade to the Spectre Staff, unfortunately. We got Tally. I highly doubt I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I highly doubt I'm gonna do that accessory upgrade thing. At least not for this playthrough. Maybe for a different one, but not this one. I 
Yep, we're still doing good on inventory space here. Not doing too bad. Oh, there's water candle here. So that's going to help. Bonely here. Alright, I'm going to do something here. It might be stupid, might not be. I don't know. But I'm going to vein mine right here. That way it can open up some more space for more enemies to come in. So I can utilize, uh, take take more advantage of the water candle here. Enemy, oh Jesus. The big lad himself. Alright, I'm going to have to switch the, the chaos sword. Because I, I have to constantly attack him or else he'll... Uh, ah! Mm! Uh, all right, all right. So is Anubis here yet? Still not here. Man. Did he move into the... No. Where are you, Anubis? Where are you? Okay, that's me. There's the witch doctor. It'd be funny if he was here the whole time and I just didn't notice him like an idiot. But I do not see him anywhere. Not a single solitary. I'm going to have to spawn him in with Cheat Cheat, probably. Alright, so let's see what we can do with the ectoplasm here. Or let's see what we can... Yeah, let's see what all the things we can do with ectoplasm. I was really gonna, originally going to check just the Deathly Longbow, but there's probably multiple... Well, the Dragon Kite, that's one thing. Man, 197... That's a little bit above the chaos one. Whoa. I don't know if I should use that one or not. Um, well, I think it's reversed from the other way. Yeah. But still. It's, um, Deathly Gast Bow. Alrighty. So the long bow, 20 and... You need 20 ectoplasm? Jeez. Mother of God. All right. So I will get some more off screen and I will figure out what is the problem with Anubis. At any rate, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys, even though this was a lot of crafting this episode, I hope you enjoyed it anyways. And thanks for watching, guys. In the next episode, we'll probably take on Anubis and Athena. That's the plan. Um. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye, everybody.